What is up guys? Wraith here, Cray Bearded Gaming Society. And it's time to blow this popsicle stand. We uh we we tried our best. We didn't have a I mean we had some success at Crush, but not as much as we were hoping for. Mostly we just made cash. I've actually pulled all the cash we currently have. I've got a druid on the way to port us. We're gonna go to West Commons. We're gonna dip into the common lands for just a second. Oh, hold on. We're gonna jump in the tunnel for just a second. And this this guy's wasting no time at all. Where was it? Yep. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna jump in the tunnel for just a second. We're gonna see, uh, you know, if there's anything worth picking up. See how it goes. Go get ourselves rebound in Freeport and then find some new action. We we're thinking about trying out as it was listed for us in the chat. Maybe we go to High Keep. Maybe we try those prisoners. Maybe we try for an org group out in the comments. We'll see. But either way, off we go. Stick around. We'll be back in just a minute. All right. So we haven't gone and gotten ourselves bound yet. We've been hanging out in the tunnel. We uh, we spent about half of our plat, but we got a pretty decent deal. We went in and got two rings. The guy gave us two jagged bands. And normally they're only like like 25, 30 plat apiece. He gave he gave us a pair. For, uh, for 40 plat. So, you know, we got the ring slots, but that puts our strength over 100, which is nice. Plus, we get like 10 more AC. So, I mean, basically, it's the equivalent of wearing, you know, another shield. Actually, it's better than the shield we're wearing. So, every little bit helps. We're doing some call outs. We're trying to see if uh, if anybody's doing any banded. So far, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good, but we're trying. Like I said, we can just get, I mean, I think a couple of small upgrades will maybe, maybe push us over the top of this particular area. Um, and then we can go out, try to get some stuff done, make some cash, make some levels, start saving up to fill in that offhand when we finally get to do a wield. But uh, we then that's so there's, there's been uh, I haven't seen it in a while. There's actually there's some guy selling. I thought about getting it. It was like twenty plat. It's not an amazing weapon. It's like nine damage, twenty seven, which isn't horrible, but that should help our backstab even more. I haven't seen it in a while. If I see it, I'll try to. Try to get, uh, hey, no, there it is right there. The, that thing. 2 AC, 9 damage, 27. It's going to be a little bit slower, but 3 more damage. I mean, and for 20 plat, might not be a bad deal. Maybe, you know, we should backstab even harder. We'll think, we're trying to see again. We'll try to see if we get some armor. Maybe, maybe grab that thing up. We'll see what happens. All right, so we didn't hit the button quite fast enough. We did. Uh, we actually we went ahead and we uh, we bought the the crystal grinder, which has got kind of a neat look. I'm still trying to swing it like a dagger, which is weird, but it's acts like a, a a punch dagger, basically off the. Oh no! There goes my sew. But we uh, we'll see if we can't crack off another one. I didn't hit the button fast enough, but uh, we opened up with a, like a 50 point backstab on this will o wisp. So I would say a marked improvement, at least in our backstabbing capabilities. 18, that's embarrassing. Come on. Come on. Show me something good. Alright, swing and a miss. Let's try this again. So I mean, even the last one was an, was an 18, which was a bad one. But it's still double the weapon damage. Oh, this is just embarrassing. We can't even backstab a defenseless will o wisp <laughs> Wow. Just, just wow. This thing's going to regen enough. It's going to turn around, punch our lights out. There we go. Yeah. 52 points of damage on a good backstab. So, I will say that the, uh... Might be a pretty solid investment here, because that's way higher, and that's 20 points higher. Really? Try this again. <laughs> and we missed. Whatever. I mean, it, like I said, it's, it's a touch slower than what we had. But not enough where we're going to notice. I mean, it's 23 against 27. We need 2 AC. Get 3 base damage on the hit. Now, this one doesn't have a proc. But we couldn't proc the other one yet anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. And even with, you know, a weak backstab, we're still getting double. 
double the damage. I mean, I don't, a neat, a neat, fun toy, and it looks kind of cool. But yeah, we're still, uh, we're still trying to see if we can't get a chest piece. So far, nothing. But you know, we got a couple upgrades. We got just enough left to get maybe a banded mail, get that last upgrade, and then see uh, what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, so we are, we're slowly. Slowly we get away across the commons. We uh We did we zapped at the back of the tunnel, we got so we, we did run in the town, we got a bind, so we are we're, we're bound on the side of the planet now. It's a good thing. We um We've just we have had such a hard time not trying to go after every bear we see because they could be worth twenty plat. And twenty plat's twenty plat, you know. So it's kinda slowing down our progress a little. Only a little bit. Because we do have to, of course, be careful because now we're in, uh, and bam, high quality bear skin. And I don't know what the Tex Grizzly skin's for. But we do have to be somewhat careful up in this piece because, uh, we almost messed up and ran face first into a Kodiak, Kodiak, period. Kodiak hard stop. That guy would have, uh, would have crippled and maimed us, I do believe. But... Let's see. I mean, I, you know. Oh yeah, we accidentally leveled. <laughs> so we we were running around. We've been auctioning for a little while. Like, is that a, is that a real Kodiak? see? That's a real Kodiak. Bright red. Kill us dead. Splat splat. But it's the little ones that we can mess with. And actually, you know, we are actually gonna do because we're still so close, man. We're still so close. I think I'm gonna. Send to tell to the person who bought the last pelt. See if she's still buying pelts. Uh, stick around for me for a second. Be right back. Okie dokie. So here we are. Down in the Le Dungeon. So let's see. That guy's green. That guy's blue. That guy's blue. Her I know better than to mess with. So that's what we're going to do. You know, it's just a just such an amazing prison system that they have here that you can just walk right into this thing. So let's see, first thing we're gonna do is rob him. So you can rob a prisoner. So then we're gonna stab him. Not very much apparently. So we have no buffs except for the spirit of wolf. So we'll see how we do. I'm also curious if we're gonna like bring other friends around somehow. I don't know. I mean, to his credit, they'll... Uh, oh, then we're shunned. <laughs> uh, you know, decently decently tough little dude for our size. I mean, it would have been a lot better had we opened up with a better backstab. Or at least some of our skills are, are rolling on. I mean... So the big thing would be like when he goes to take off, I think. Is, you know, do we aggro like every other prisoner in the area? Does he aggro the crazy chick at the end with the skeleton pet? And then, uh, you know, the other thing we got to do while we're down here. The other thing we have to do while we're down here is go check on our man Osargon down at the other end. Because I know he is fine with some people. He is not fine with others. And he could be a bit of a problem. If, uh, all right, well, if this guy's not going to bolt, it's going to make our lives a little bit easier. Because we could just stabity stabity. And they drop some loot and absolutely no faction hit, which was handy. So these guys will stay that. But let's do, um, we failed to hide ourselves. But we're, we're being ever so sneaky. The guards could care less about us. I've hidden myself away from you. Thankfully, I still have my Spirit of Wolf. So we've been going... Alright, because I remember, yeah, there's a couple prisoners in here. And there's Osargon. Now, I know that... I've actually camped this guy with one of my original tunes to the server to fill in a gap because he's decent experience. Like I said, he's bright red to us. But now that we have him targeted... FYI, the funny thing about gnomes is gnomes can jump right through these bars. <laughs> 
So, so we've got him targeted. Let's go back over here. Oh, we're still behind him. Yeah, he would actually attack us. So we will have to be very careful with that. We can still get this to work right through the wall, though. <laughs> Or through the bars. And of course, and again, it's such such a great prison system that they have here north. He walked right through the bars. So we will see how this goes. So you can obviously tell how much lower level he is than the last guy, because we're just crunching this guy. But if he still has experience. Yeah. I kinda don't care. Hey, hey where are you going? Warp. I'll backstab you. Actually, I'm going to rob you first. Hadouken! Alright. So, I mean, there's some gold to be made. There's some experience to be had. They got people that I don't think they're really going to have any loot or anything. But, uh... Let's see. Let's go ahead and sell some of the trash we got on the way over here. We stashed our high quality hide. I don't remember if anybody buys these or not, so we're just going to sell these off. We are going to keep our lights stone for now just because reasons. And of course, the other handy thing is we could bank right here. Just again, I'm not expecting us to actually make bank, so to speak, but every little bit will help. And then we'll go ahead and do a guess here. And one of these so yeah here we go we're here I um actually let's see well, mostly it'll be small bronze I know that the guys downstairs can actually drop up we're not gonna go near goblins I would just get annihilated um and drop some chain pieces that may or may not be upgrades for us we'll keep our eyes out for that we never were able to get our uh, are you going to mess with me? I don't think so. And that's if nobody's going to mess with us, then we'd actually have lots of time between combat rounds. We can just come around here, just sit, and regen, and take our time. So, you know what? We're going to do this for a little while and see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, class, that's what you get when you're really not paying attention. Off to find my corpse.
Well, so obviously one of the things that we have discovered is that some of these prisoners are our size. So I was only half-heartedly paying attention because what we've been doing basically is sitting down around this corner, slowly regenning myself back to full, go up there, fight a prisoner or two, depending on how we do with, uh, you know, with the fight. Like, we don't lose, if we didn't lose a lot of hit points, we just go, we'd roll right into the next fight. Well, unfortunately for us, uh-oh, uh-oh, we're about to get the hookup, maybe? Yay! Damn it, shield. <laughs> shield of lava. Come on, hurry up and croak, man. We got other dudes we got to go beat up now. So anyway, as I was saying, we were only half-heartedly paying attention. Running around doing our thing. We got in one of those rooms. And uh, that happened. The guy's an even con to us. And yeah, he whipped off. I mean, again, I was only like halfway looking. It's probably not a good idea anyway, to be honest with you. But, but uh, you know, we were doing good, doing good. And then he just pulled ahead and stayed ahead. So, kind of a dumb death. But we know now to actually pay more attention. There we go. But they, uh, you know, to their credit, these guys are actually a good chunk of experience. I mean, we're, we're two bubbles in. I mean, yes, we should be two and a half. But, uh, you know, they're pretty good experience. They do drop some coin. We're getting, you know, good skill ups. When do we remember, like, we rob them, backstab them, do whatever. So not, not a bad spot. And then sometimes we get lucky because somebody walks by and we get some random buffs. These buffs, of course, are from uh, our corpse run. But we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. But we're going to get back to it for a while and see uh, what other kind of kind of experience we can get just hopefully trucking these guys. I mean, if not, I mean, hell, if we need to, like I said, we'll jump back and forth and see if we can't pay for buffs at the bank or something from some of the big kids if that's what it takes to reliably get this done. Because if nothing else, we have two lives left and we at least got to get dual wheeled before we croak. Uh, we shall see how it goes. Stick around for me for at least one more time, guys. We'll do another good update, and then uh, see how we see how we go from there. All right, here we go, guys. I think this is the one that's gonna get us the sound effect we've been waiting on. Oh, oh, oh. we were robbed. We got robbed. That bar is completely full yet again. The bar is completely full. And we didn't get the level. Which stinks. But uh, what has been super cool. And huge shout outs to Nibic the Mage. Who's been running back and forth down through the tunnels down here. And has, has given us the damage shield. Which has just totally, totally turned this all around for us. As far as how easy it's been for us to handle even the even conning guys at this point. But, um, but yeah, I mean the spot's... It's working pretty good. We're, I, I haven't really checked to see how much cash we're actually making. But the experience has been moving quick. I mean, I'd be honest, we leveled by now had we not uh, gone splat earlier. Unfortunately, right, things do happen. But yeah, as soon as we knock out this ding, like I said, we will have... Uh, we will have what we need. And of course, there's nobody close enough. And we can, I don't know if we can get in... We're going to see. This might kill us. I'm going to do it. See if we can get away from Osargon, though. Alright. We got the damage shield. We got the blue. This should be perfect. This right here should be perfect. Come on. Come on. Give me the ding. What? You know what? I'm gonna rob you first. This is being so difficult. <laughs> then we're gonna miss a bunch more backstabs, apparently. Oh. And like they're. There it is. 
and they're so worried about their prisoners here, they just let them walk off. They were like, I don't even think we can. I think you actually have to go and train. Yeah, we have to go train. Have to go. But there we are, guys. Level thirteen. We're gonna run. Uh, we're gonna run up the Rivervale because they're way closer and they should like us. So we're gonna head over to Rivervale. We're gonna train. We'll be do a wieldy rogue next time. So we'll probably try to come back to this spot and see how we do. It's been a pretty decent spot for us. It's kind of honestly hard to complain about how this little spot is turned out, especially when somebody's around giving us free buffs. But yeah, let's uh, let's get everything put back together. Like as always, you know, and if you've got an idea for another spot, as always, guys, love to hear from everybody. For the, you know, if you like what we're doing, like, comment, drop a subscribe down below. You know, get finally getting that bind wound up there a little bit. But we do love to hear from people. Like that, we this spot is obviously probably going to work for another level, relatively easily. And uh, you know, let's see what we can get done. We'll see what we can get done. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay distant. Stay in EverQuest, no matter what server or variant you're playing. Still think it's the greatest game ever. And we'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Night, guys.